Live from London, Fight Star Championship presents five three minute rounds for the amateur featherweight championship. Sponsored by Mola MMA. Introducing first in the blue corner with a record of four wins and two defeats. Weighing in a 145 pounds. Representing La Cage from Belgium, Stephen Shehu. And his opponent in the red corner with a record of six wins and three defeats. Weighing in a 145 pounds. Representing GB Top Team from England, Callum Hogan. <laughs> Your referee in charge of the action, Sam Armidi. For the way, goal on the line here, Stephen Shehu in the blue corner. His opponent, Callum Huhan in the red. Shehu from the Le Cage team. Huhan from Great Britain top team. Callum looks to move forward. Cam usually likes to loop punches over his opponent's guard. He's gauging the distance here, bouncing in and out range, evades the kick. And this is what I was talking about prior to the fight. He likes to not trap opponents up against the cage, but have them on their back foot. Find success, especially when he starts throwing in the combinations when they are on the back foot. Feeling out process here in round one. Just over two minutes left in this first round. Cam looking to twitch for the left hook. He's got a nice overhand right that he sets up with that left hook. Steven's got a good job of staying center of the cage, trying to keep Callum up on his back foot. Steven looking to invest that left to the body and then go upstairs with a hands drop. And he snuck in a right to the body as well in that last exchange. Callum was pulling that, the shorts up on that rear leg. Says to me he might be trying to chamber that rear kick. There's a welt on the left leg there, just uh, on the outside of the left leg of Callum from those leg kicks. Oh, that was a nice chopping kick. Oh, and, and again. again. Callum's now changed stance. Now he's back to orthodox. Callum will use that probing jab to set up his strikes, to set up his transitions. He's got to keep these punches in bunches. Nice combinations. He tends to leave his head a little bit high. His chin's a little bit high on hands low. And he's got to counter that with outside movement. And he's got to avoid things like that, the looping punches. And, and I like what Steven's doing is he's setting up those leg kicks off punches. The last one that he threw, he set it up off of that jab. Ten seconds left here in round one. Both athletes looking to make a stamp. And that lead leg for Callum already marked up from the damage that's taken. He's got some redness already on the upper calf and across the quad. Take a look at the replay here. Steve with a nice body kick caught by Callum. This was that early feeling out process, Callum. And then once Steven seemed to find his range, he was getting a lot more comfortable with that chopping outside leg kick. And even in the replay right there, you can see the redness down on the lower leg. And he's waiting for Callum to switch stances before he throws it. So Callum's been switching to Southpaw, and then when he switches back to orthodox, as soon as he's switching and that foot goes down, he's throwing that chopping hard leg kick. 
And Callum's feeling it because he's shaking out his legs right now. Or he's dancing, who knows? He might like this song. Round two, featherweight title on the line. This fight brought to you by Mahler MMA. Again, hard outside leg kick. Oh, nice left hook. Callum's either gonna have to start checking them or he's gotta make him pay for it. It's a nice jab, but as he comes forward with that jab, it's beautiful, but he leaves that lead leg out. That's prompting Steven to chop away at that lead leg. And the one thing with that leg kick, what it does is it takes away that high kick potential because he's not going to be able to move it up as fast. It's going to feel heavy. Shahu does a good job of covering the distance as well in the interim. Doesn't stay on the end of the punches. He forces Callum to fight close range and that's when those looping punches come over the guard because Callum held his hands a little bit too low when he's usually used to make an exit he's clear but in this instance we see Stephen close that distance that's what's allowing him to land nice double jab right he pays for it again with the inside leg kick Beautiful work. He's been going low for the duration of the fight and he disguised that with a head kick. And it was good because he ducked down like he was going to go low to that calf again and Callum kind of stood up, kind of bracing himself, ready for that. Oh, left hook, right hand. Callum finding his range now. Jehu's got to keep that head movement. When he's close range, he's got to get it off the center line. He's standing pretty square, which is allowing Callan just to tee off. And even if he's just dipping the head one way or another, as he's coming in, he's got to make sure that it's moving on a swivel. Crisp left hand there from Callum. Looks for the right hand over the top. Change of level. One, two, level change. Oh, left at right hand from Steven. And Steven is doing that dip, kind of jumping left. He goes high again with the kick. Well, Callum finds it hard to counter that dip because he, he's kind of like... He's biting on it. Yeah. And, and he fights long as well and he's high up. You know, like he's tall, so it's hard for him to load up a nice uppercut or to kick those hips back and evade. Yeah, he keeps biting really hard on that faint takedown. Some solid jabs, though, from Callum. And a right hand just to finish. He's having a lot of success when he doubles up that jab and then follows it up with the right. But when he's switching stances, it seems like he'll, when he's in orthodox, he's hitting that jab, jab, jab. But then once he switches stance because of leg kicks or whatever else, he's more just doing one punch at a time and circling in. Callum's leg is showing the wear and tear though of two rounds both inside and outside of that lead left leg. Touch of gloves and we hit round three, three minutes on the clock. Featherweight title here at Five Star Championship 22. Interesting to see if Steven tries to bait him in with more of the ducks. And if Callum can think about just throwing that uppercut as it's coming in. He could also teep as well with that rear leg. 
you know, to fire to try and deter that level change. As of yet, we've not seen Callum have an answer for that level change, and that's kind of disguising the advances of Steven as he comes forward and in turn allows him to land on Callum's chin. The only thing I would say is that leg can't get up as fast as it did in the first because it is heavy now. I mean, he's standing flat-footed on that lead leg, and he's been on his toes the whole time. And you can see he's trying to get a little bit of something into it, and he'll try to get up on his toes, but it's still causing him a bit of pain. Oh, the glove slipped out there. Just going to get a readjustment of the glove of Callum. Good sportsmanship being shown there by Stephen Shehu. Completely slipped past the tape. Might be a welcome break for these two to regain some oxygen debt. And with a 148 left in the round. It's interesting to see Callum as well. Like he's holding onto the top of that cage. He's lifting his legs up. This is what I'm saying. I'm. He's feeling it on both of his legs. Yeah, those legs are, are chewed up. You know, if we can see it, almost certainly Shehu can see it. And if you look right here on Shehu's calf, he's standing right in front of us right now. We can see that lower leg. He's taking quite a few of them from Callum as well. But the upper leg, I don't see a lot of redness from the few leg kicks that have landed. On the other hand, you look at the side of Callum's leg, and it's just chewed up. And again, shakes out his legs. Stephen Shehu looking to chew up that leg like a Staffordshire Bull Terrier. <laughs> He's done a good job so far, and there's an inside leg kick, but Callum now stepped back out of danger. He didn't check it, but he skipped the leg backwards. One thing I would like to see, though, with Callum is let's make him pay for it. Oh! Coming in more of a slip than a true knockdown, but... Another chance for Stephen to beat up those legs. <laughs> The referee's going to ask for concise action here, otherwise he'll stand it up. But like you said, the smart play for Steven to chop away at those legs a little bit more. Almost three shots there while Callum's off of his back. Exactly. If he lifts, like he's doing right now, lift that heel and just keep tagging it. Even if it's just like a teep right into it and it's not a lot of power behind it, it'll just start taking some damage. And he's, ooh, really nice up kick by Callum. That made him think twice about going back in. Oh, left hook. And again, he's dropping down for it. Chris boxing here from Steven. Always finishing with that leg kick to do some further damage. Let's see Callum go back to that double jab. He had so much success in it in the second round. Oh, he was wobbled there, but, uh, but that left that touched the chin. A lot of it has to do with as well as his legs underneath him are not acting as they should be acting right now. He's having problems now with his back leg. Kid's tough as nails, though. Heading to the fourth round of this championship fight, and oh, look at that leg. Hey, you can see there on the inside of the left, the outside of the left. There's not a lot of areas there on Callum's leg that have <laughs> not been chewed up. Take a look at the replay, though. That whistle past the head there of Steven. And like you said, Callum's tough as nails. He's eating all these leg kicks. He's still pressing forward. And it seemed like he, he was listening to his coach, and he, and he kind of charged forward after this knockdown, and he got the up kick, and he got back to his feet, and he pulled the trigger a little bit more close range. See the up kick here. Looked like Callum was looking for a leg lock. Right there. Nice push. And Steven just went, well, okay, yeah, you could stand up. I don't need to play with your feet anymore. This is all right. That hurt. Fourth round here for the weight title. Shehu in the blue corner. Yuhan in the red. Oh, beautiful combination. Oh, left hook to the head as well. And Steven's getting off first, and that's why he's having this success. 
Such clean combinations. He goes to the body, goes there, finishes with that beautiful kick. And he lands with his shin as well into the soft muscle of Callum, doing further damage. Callum's now got that single jab. If he doubles it out and follows up with that right, he's going to have success. Steven's hand, head sitting straight in the center whenever he throws that jab in. So he just needs to connect twice and then try and come back over the top with that right. Like that. Maybe right hand there from Steven. Looking to go to the body briefly. And the thing is, Steven has his range, be it for kicking or punching. He now knows exactly where he has to be. He's comfortable there. When he's moving around, he's got good head movement. It's only when he's moving forward and either just threw punches or getting ready to throw punches that his head's not moving. Steven got some nice slips. And we know that Callum's got some great head kicks, even though the legs are compromised. He's got to try and force a slip. I'd like to see him throw a jab and then a lead kick just to kind of disguise and, and promote the head move from, from Steven and try to get him ducking into it. See there, he slips off beautifully to the right, which is awesome. But if Callum can time that and disguise that, that switch kick with the left leg. Going to the body. Could be setting up the head kick here, trying to draw the hands downward there of Steven. Yeah, but this is now the midway point, just past the midway point of the fourth round, and Steven's hands haven't left his chin. He's always got a nice high guard. Like it was a little low blow there. Kind of get a little bit of time to recover. Go to neutral corners. This momentary break is brought to you by Mahler MMA. Sam Aldi gives him a quick warning to pay attention where he's throwing those kicks and we're ready to go. But again, we see the advance and the nice crisp boxing technique from Steven. There was the head kick we spoke about, Steven Dick. But like you said, he's got his guard up to Steven. Even when he slips off, his hands are up nice and high. Dives for that single. Steven was able to block that, looking to shuck the head down. It's interesting to see Callum as well shoot for that takedown. We know that he's got great BJJ skills, a very active and offensive guard, great armbar. Um, you know, he's really tough to finish on the ground. So we might see him now coming into this next round, look to take this fight down to the ground and finish with a submission. With both of these guys, the amount of sweat that's going on, it's going to be tough to grab like arm bars, something along those lines, because that, that grappling is going to just turn into a mess. What I'd like to see him do is, and what we've seen in the past, is Callum has a lot of success when he's fighting off his front foot, when he's moving forward. And Steven's made it a point to stay inside range and force Callum to kind of fight almost on his back foot. Callum wants to win this fight. He needs to come out strong in this first, or in the first part of this fifth and final round and actually take control of the fight. Steven, on the other hand, it's all about just throwing those combinations and not ducking into a head kick. We get set for the fifth and the final round here, the featherweight title of the Five Star Championship 22. Callum seems Ooh. to be pulling the trigger here now. And I like it. He's throwing that stiff jab, getting out there to try to work his way into range. Looking to force Steven to fight off of his back foot. Oh, it might be an inadvertent eye poke there. Yeah. Immediately we saw Callum apologize.
whenever you're pushing away with those little gloves, always got to be careful. Yeah, often the uh, the amateur gloves with the with the larger seven to eight ounce uh, padding, they kind of tend to curl your fingers forward, so there's less eye pokes in the amateur rule set. More so in the pro when they've got they can extend the fingers up and towards their opponent. But it but seems like I like the old pro the fair text that Pride used because those seem to go a little bit farther around and forced your hand into a fist. Both guys coming out on fire. Steven seems upset he got poked in the eye, and Cullum's. Well, I'm happy that didn't compromise his vision. You know, Steven still looks like he's targeting correctly. As of yet, he's not walked on to anything silly. Still going to the body, and then look for the left hook to the head. And he continues to move forward. He's not letting Steven just back reset okay, we're looking for the tie hop now changes levels Stephen digs the underhook in head kick attempt there from Callum again that single jab Stephen just marches forward that looping right. Steven with head pressure now on the outside position. Callum fighting the wrist. Trying to jump the triangle. Doesn't get it. And as you alluded to, the slipperiness here in the fifth round made it very difficult for Callum to class. Oh, beautiful evasion of the uppercut there as he stands to his feet. And that's the reality. These guys have been working hard this entire fight under oh. these big lights, and it's hot. Oh, wow. Oh, the head kick started that one off. Steven Shea, who's smelling blood. Callum trying, oh, good job by Callum trying to clear those cobwebs. He's doing it with just straight punches. So now blood leaking from the nose there of Callum. Steven's got to look to try to set that right hand up. He's got just over 40 seconds left. He's got to try and separate and headhunt. You could argue the, the point here that Callum was hurt from the head kick and the swarm of punches from Steven. And the two-on-one by Callum, that's a great way for him to clear the cobwebs. Twenty seconds left. Callum pull the trigger. Steven's going to continue to move forward. Callum's looking for that right-hand count. He's trying to draw it in, that rear side. Oh! Beautiful shots there from Steven. He charges forward. Great Dying seconds of the fight there. here, Nick. Oh. Callum doing his best to clear all that cobwebs out. That was a fantastic fight. An outstanding matchup here in London. An interesting fight between the two. I think the key there, Steven's leg kicks really did change the direction of that fight. Limited the movement there from Callum, the footwork, the power. Didn't seem to have an answer. He lifted up his leg for a cross check at one point. He was trying to skip out of range, but he ate most of those kicks. Let's go back and see some of the action in the fifth. Here was that double leg attempt. Steven was able to circle right out. Steven used the crisp techniques. Close range here, looking for the head kick. There was and the then right hand Callum left with that one, two. And then as soon as he sensed that Callum was dipping down, Steven's throwing that left hand. That's a fun fight to watch. Brought to you by the folks at Mahler MMA. And as we go to the uh, judges' scorecards, let's make this official. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, at the five rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards, who scored about 50-45, 48-47, and 50-45. All three in favor of your winner by unanimous decision. And now the amateur featherweight champion of Fight Star Championships. In the blue corner, Stephen Chayhu! <laughs> 